Is that a Luke? Is that who is the person on the left? So these guys are all Titan versions of basically the Mortal Kombat One characters. Did they synchronize their watches? Yes, they probably did. Yeah, look, Cinder lives. Select your final warrior. <laughs> 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 oh god, that's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually really cool. Uh, so for some reason, I cannot select Reiko or Shang Tsung. I'm assuming it's because that's the other side. No, you can select Shang Tsung. I'm gonna go with Liu Kang. Uh, but you know. Oh, nice, they did well with this story. I thought they did as well. Did you did you already beat this game? Ah, of course. Has to be going up a goddamn steps. Can't be a Mortal Kombat game otherwise. What, the story? This is the end. Are you sure you want to be spoiled? Nowhere to run, Shang Tsung. Nowhere to hide. We have banded together to rid all timelines of your evil. The threat you pose to them ends today. Such certainty, Liu Kang, that this battle will end in your favor. It can end no other way. Because across all timelines, the arc of history bends toward justice. Does it? In this timeline, it bends toward me. Behold, Liu Kang, the hell I unleash upon you. Oh, fuck this guy. I hate you, Quan Chi. I really do. There's a character I wanted to burn out of existence. It's definitely Quan Chi. Oh, look, Jack is here. An emo katana. Yeah, I thought that was him, man. I'm not gonna. Uh, it's it's nice that everyone is like running down the stairs like that. Why did? Oh wait, this is a gearist that's basically Liu Kang. Did I accidentally pick this character? I didn't pick this character. You get to be killed by a mega star. John Connor. <laughs> yeah, I think this is not intentional. I was meant to pick the story, Liu Kang. I use the move that I want to use. Yeah, I think I'm using the wrong character. A female scorpion. You no hope against the Shaolin. I wonder who they got to voice female scorpion. That's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. Ed Boon's wife. I'm gonna be so annoyed if it's just a random like it's a random Liu Kang and not the Liu Kang that I want to play as. Yeah. 
Surrender. You cannot win. Fight. Johnny Savage. So far, we've had two Johnny Cages. up my moves. Oh, it's back forward. I don't know why I made life harder. Hey, no, it's on your blade. Cameo. You're about to go down, you strongo. Fight. Red Dragon. Shao Goro? Goro Khan. Mime Johnny? <laughs> All the Johnnies. He, he punched him in the dick. This is the part where you fall down now. Finger guns as well. Oh, they fall. I can't wait to drench myself with your blood. Sindel, Lizard Queen Sindel. This is the crazy, like, OC's game now. I hope, I really do hope they kind of, like, leave the timeline stuff out of order now. Like, that was what was the intrigue. The combat kids are back. Allow me. That's the. That's Jackie Bridge. That's uh, I've forgotten his name, but yeah, these are the ja and that's and that's Cassie Cage. Thank you, Katana. You're welcome. Now hurry. There's no time to waste. You face the greatest warrior who ever lived. Dung laugh. But not gonna lie, these are funny. And why did they why did they burn the combat kids out of existence, man? That was not fair on them. They did nothing wrong. It's still it's still it's still Scorpion, but with that one moveset. I kind of thought the same thing. Okay. Mm. 
Assist me, Quan Chi. Spirit bomb. All the millionaires are dead. Right in the boot. Test your might. She stabbed. I guess she didn't have an eye for it for combat. A good chunk of Lu Chang. You are almost there. Of course, he would be dead. Thinking you can win is arrogant presumption. Fight. Shao Zero? <laughs> what if Shao Kahn had Sub Zero's powers? This is basically Mortal Kombat X right now. Yep. He'd have it in the the freeze. A female Kung Lao? Oh, a female. It's Lin Hei, God of Thunder. I get it. Goodbye, Lee Mei. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of like one of the funnier ones. It's only a little further, Liu Kang. Follow me. Oh, okay, so it could have been any. It could have been any character. Your story, the story-based Liu Kang is still story-based Liu Kang. Your defenses have failed, Shang Tsung. This is over. I do not think so. Realize, sorcerer, that you've brought this on yourself. Avarice and ego have again proved your undoing. We have no choice but to eradicate you. It is you who will be eradicated. You and your followers. And once you are dead, all timelines will be mine. What's better than one Liu Kang? Two Liu Kang. This fight choreography is so good. I think you would get a random give a uh, given position is precarious. To survive, you must submit. Yes. The question you must ask is, Can I if Liu you? Kang couldn't finish us, how possibly could you? Oh, that's easy. I'm the main character, bro.
This is a much better version of the model, regular Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I'm dead. Those who opposed him now question his seal. Titan Shang Tsung extended his rule to all realms, all realms. No one would ever dare challenge him again. To survive, you must submit. Yes. The question you must ask is, if Liu Kang couldn't finish us, how possibly could you? Fight! Bastard! To survive, you must submit. Yes. The question you must ask is, if Liu Kang couldn't finish us, how possibly could you? If Liu Kang couldn't finish us, I sent in a second Liu Kang. That's all it is. now and they called me the chosen one glad to live up to your example shall we you have done more than enough please permit me to end this That be the last we see of you. That's not gonna happen. Liu Kang, what's happening? Timeline. Without Shang Tsung to hold it together, it's falling apart. You must return to your timeline before this one collapses. Thank you for your aid, Liu Kang. May we one day meet again. It could have been any character. It could have been any character. I'm telling you, the locations we found here are money. I mean, look at this. Don't the rainbow colors on these mountains just scream out, world? I cannot believe you'll be telling our story about how we defeated Shang Tsung. Well, the studio thinks it's fiction, not fact. <laughs> But I don't care, as long as it's covering the budget. <laughs> I assume you'll be the star. Nope. I'm behind the camera. Writing and directing. Time to let someone younger and prettier take the lead. Wow. You know, I've written in parts for all of you. If you want them. Us? On screen? I mean, they're cameos. But like they say, there are no small parts. Thank you, Johnny. But we must decline. But Raiden... The new initiates arrive tomorrow. We must return to the Wuxi to begin their instruction. Of course, you are right. What about you, Takahashi? I need a blind swordsman. And no actor can do what you do. <laughs> I would love to. But my work to revive the Tyra is starting to pay off. I can't let up now. Well, I know better than to ask you. Your plate is always full. Indeed, Johnny Cage. 
Which is why I must now depart. Off to Outworld? To advise the Empress? Between her father and her sister, Melina is receiving plenty of good advice. And with the sorcerers and the general imprisoned, there are few threats to her rule. Is something wrong, then? I am simply shoring up our defenses. As you know, Bihan and his Lin Kuei have abandoned their roles as Earthrealm's guardians. His brother, Kuai Liang, has agreed to build a new clan. Wow. The Shirai Ryu to take its place. I must go aid his efforts. Is there anything we can do? Not yet. But I will call upon all of you when the time comes. Madame Bo, once again you have served an excellent meal. That's kind of you to say. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And thank you, all of you. You have served well as Earthrealm's champions. No, Liu Kang. Thank you. Joining up with you really has changed the arcs of our lives. I am glad. All right, gentlemen. If you're finished, there's only one thing. He's gonna pay. Which one of you gets the bad news? <laughs> Not me. I'm still three mil in the hole on Sento. How uh, thick's your wallet, Takahashi? Thick enough. But seems to me our hosts are on the hook. They did invite you us. You think we have money? The Shaolin live modestly. Realms are in safe hands. Is that it? Oh wow, okay. I didn't think I'd finish the game this quickly today. Oh god. I don't know if there's gonna be a second or a post credit. I highly doubt we're gonna see the end of General Khan, Shao uh Shang Tsung or a thing. And there is also the story of Ashra and Kung Lao. So it's not uh, of Chaos Realm. So it's not impossible to see. Uh, sorry, that was very... I don't know why my voice cracked there. It's not impossible. Sorry, I was listening to the soundtrack. I was very confused. I thought the music was better in this game than in previous games. Because they actually... It's much more memorable with using the... Uh, using the more oriental sounds, which is good. But um, it's still, I don't like it when they use rock music because it always sounds, it always gets drowned out in, mu in fighting games like this. They need to do something with a bit more character. And I'm still waiting for it. I'm still waiting for a memorable Mortal Kombat soundtrack because I've not seen it. And the only time I've seen it is literally when we've done a... When we've played this one. Cinema X is still the best in best in show. There's there's not quite like anything like this. I'm not gonna lie, that that last fight was fun, but also really annoying because it was also that fight with Chang Song was not that great. Um, I hope that gets I hope that gets fixed. I think they probably I wonder if they're gonna do an aftermath style story. Um but to be honest, I kind of want them to be off the whole timeline bullshit for the story. It's not needed anymore. I thought this is the point of this game is that we're not going to see anything to do with timelines. Oh, okay. That's the... That's Purple Rain. Oh, okay. So this timeline still lives? Kanye Pro oh Havoc. 
Everyone who fought today did so fiercely. <laughs> I've been here for it. I would have thought it impossible. Warriors from across timelines clashing in combat. The blood, the death, the chaos. Yes, Lord Havoc. It's unfortunate it all ended so fast. The next time. It won't. So there's gonna be another one. <sighs> I'm actually kind of annoyed with the timeline stuff. Like I get, I get why they want to do it, but damn man, they really shouldn't. <laughs> I really don't want them to do. Like I get they want to do a chaos emerald, uh, chaos emerald, chaos realm, so that they could have. Um, Actually, we don't know who the voices are. I'm hoping that they did bring back the old voice actor to play. Like, if it's not, then damn, that was a really good, like, pick for him. What was I saying? I'm going on random tangents. Uh, Chaos Realm. Uh, I guess this is the introduction to Chaos Realm. Like, it's a space between spaces where everything just goes awry. Uh, but I really don't want them. Time switching feels like they're getting their writing stuck in places often, so they just reset each time. Yeah, but I kind of don't want them to do a new timeline story. I want them to just do a regular Mortal Kombat story with, with the dramas that come along with it. I thought what they did, what they had here was great. Everything up until the timeline stuff, I was kind of like, yeah. I didn't... <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie, bringing back Shang Tsung from the original timeline makes sense. Because it, it means that the aftermath ending in both timelines is correct. But... I would have preferred it if it was just the two and not the millions uh, that they could have had here. I'm, I'm just saying. It would have been cool. It would have been really cool if they just, uh, like, they they focused more on the story on it. I mean, it makes sense to be honest because characters get killed so often you could uh, reanimate zombie stuff. But that would only really work once until it gets samey. It does, but what made Mortal Kombat... Uh, 9 through 11 uh, so good was that it was one storyline it was one consistent story uh, they only mentioned the, the timeline stuff once which was at 11 uh, and then that's it and I was happy with that because it felt like an end of a story whereas now we don't have that and that's annoying for me because um I don't understand why they need to re like make the whole thing about different timelines. Like the the ending of this story kind of felt like this was Liu Kang's farewell to the to the realm. When reality is that it's not. It just means that he can relinquish the power as many times as he needs to. He could just go back to being the protector of the realm. It's 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 fairly easy to understand. I guess it's like it's the one true timeline and the protection comes from everyone else having like a really crap time of being a timekeeper that everybody just wants to go to the one good one right the one that where they didn't have to take the responsibility and i get that's what they might try to do with with this new quote-unquote chaos realm because they didn't introduce chaos realm yet but havoc was the only person who wanted to create a realm that was outside of the order realm so, but this was a new timeline that's the thing it's a brand new timeline that is supposed to be dead after Shang Tsung dies. And I just think that... And the quality really did drop there. So everything was fine up until that point. Everything was really well done up until that point. I wouldn't have minded if it was Liu Kang versus Shang Tsung. I just minded that it was another timeline story. And I'm like, ah... Oh, just... You need to go back to basics. Uh, that's kind of what I was like. I'm. I think I'm the only one who really wanted to go back to basics. Mortal Kombat One story, where it was like the, all the story was really good, but it did also tie up a lot of loose ends that was um, not introduced. And I'm glad Quan Chi, Quan Chi gets to be a hero and a villain at the same time. I guess, but I really didn't want to see. I I think that's the only thing I'm like stuck on right now is that it's another timeline story. 
and I really didn't want to see another timeline story so soon. Especially with so many things right now that are heavily going on about like timelines, time travel, time parallel universes, stuff like that. Um, I kind of thought the fight at the end was a bit melodramatic. It was very anticlimactic in terms of the weight of the fight. It's not the same as when you fought against Kronika. Kronika was a way better fight in that situation. And the fight with um, Shang Tsung at the end of Eleven was also really, really good in the Aftermath story. Um, and this is the one thing I will give it, is that it's a very high quality game. It seems fun enough. I didn't find it annoying. It wasn't too stiff. Although I'm pretty sure once I get into a fight, I will probably be in disagreement for that. But um, finally, I finished the game in one day. You know, it was a bit of an anticlimax. It was in the sense of there wasn't enough weight put on to the fact that you were playing a character. Sorry, there wasn't in the, it, your character that you played as didn't really change the outcome of the game you could have played any number of characters and it would have been something different i did enjoy the oc mixes effectively so you had like what if shao khan had this and they all had like dumb names i enjoyed all of that that's that's exactly what i would want in a in a fight like this and obviously the reference of it being on a stairs because for some stupid reason every mortal kombat game has to end on has, has to have some fight that happens on the stairs at some point is great it's just the fact that the fight lasted only one round. It's a one round fight, not a three round fight, a one round fight. And Kronika lasted three. So they broke all convention with that one. And for some reason, the, the I'm not going to lie, it felt like the quality kind of died there. And then they went back to like, it feels more like this is going to get patched out. This is going to get improved or there's going to be a DLC that will cover this section better. Um, Because everything up until that point was great. Even even bringing back the uh, Katana stuff was great because you actually don't see Katana have an on-screen kiss um, up until this game. This is actually, the f as, far as, as far as I remember, this is the first game where, they, where you've seen them clearly have a relationship. Um, like, there's more of a relationship between Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade, which is another thing I did enjoy. I enjoyed the fact that they didn't make Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade a thing. They implied that Johnny Cage was with a, a new person. Um... I liked the idea of maturing characters. All the characters were way older than they looked, with the probably exception of Raiden and, and uh, Kung Lao. And I enjoyed the fact that Raiden was the hero. Um, Kung Lao got what he wanted from the story. Uh, Raiden was, was smug because he was humble all the time, so everything he did sounded humble, you know? Everything that he did sounded hum uh, smug, sorry. Um, what else was there? Okay, Yuri Lowenthal, Steve Bloom, Alan Lee. Oh, God, I it went too fast. Christina V. Megan Fox did not contribute anything to this game. You could take the take a voice out and it would not change the game at all whatsoever. So I don't understand two things. One, why was it such a big deal for her to be a character in the game when she did? she had less than like 10 lines? And secondly that money they could have saved on getting Megan Fox they could have just given it to Christina V because she did an amazing job as doing the grunts and stuff but she was not she literally only had like what two lines I think not even three not even ten I think it was like less than five lines what was the point of promoting her what was the point like what would you have done in that situation to bring in someone like that to make it feel like it was worth having her it was it, not only there was a bad response, like in the sense of it was not a great performance. Sorry, Megan, if you do ever watch this video, and I hope you do, we don't hate you. We just hate the performance that it was that was given, whether it was down to the director, the screenwriter, or whoever. Like, fine, fair dues, blame them. But what was presented in front of us was kind of shit, and I'm sorry. I expected more from my Mortal Kombat cast. Um, if if Jean-Claude Van Damme could do a great job, if the person who voiced... Uh, I've forgotten his name. Hang on. Who is the person who voices uh, Mortal Kombat uh, Shang Tsung actor? Uh, I think his name is... Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa, I think, is the person who, who is Shang Tsung in the original. Um, that... If... if 
like if we can get something like him in there and basically his mannerisms were so good in the movie and in the game that they basically just held it over for Mortal Kombat 8 1 then um I don't understand what Megan Fox brought to the table basically it was a bit pointless so it's, I, I'll say as it is Natara it, like did terribly as a character to be, even be memorable that's kind of the reason why i don't like it at least sonya blade was good i'm pretty sure that natara has like probably extra voice lines somewhere when it comes to specific characters like you know when you have when two characters meet each other they'll say stuff like that but i don't i think the two story ones have done a disservice for that character and then finally um uh kari hiroyuki tagawa Whoever they got to replace him in this game has done such a fine job of re recreating that voice. Uh, but at that point, I'd rather just put that budget and put him in there. Just put Kari Hiroyuki. Like, let him, let him run his course as that character. I don't see... I think they will probably... I don't know. The thing is, I don't know what story you could tell with Mortal Kombat 2. They'll just be like, wait, I'm, I'm guessing the only story you could tell with Mortal Kombat 2, if they ever do a Mortal Kombat 2 is to tell the story of Bihan where Bihan is once like probably would break out Shang Tsung but this is a Shang Tsung that is just as conniving as any other Shang Tsung and would want to deal with the timeline stuff why the hell would you go back from that right I don't know honestly speaking it's a bit of a rough situation with that I it's kind of like it's a Pandora's box situation should never really use uh, you shouldn't really try to use a um, you shouldn't really try to use uh, timeline stuff unless it's like this is the end of an era type situation, um, and I I'm trying to figure out how you would tell that story without Shang like Shang Tsung Bihan technically speaking is the only character that doesn't know anything about the timelines. So I guess that would make most sense with it being the Shirai, the, the future battles being the Shirai Ryu versus uh, the Link Wei. Like, it makes sense in that sense. And then you can bring in the, the Cyber Initiative. Um, but I'm not sure what else they could do here. Anyone anyway, else got any ideas for this? Because I don't know what else you could talk about with this particular story. Like, I'm here for the story. Game's good. It's fun to play. Go play it. But I'm here for the story. What what could you do? What could you tell with a Mortal Kombat 2? Thanks. Thank you for being a fan. Seasonal content. Gold, what just happened? One hundred percent of the story mode. Okay. Why chapter 15 twice? Eye of the Tiger. Just checking some things. Watch the credits. Oh, okay. That's what it was. It was very dumb of me. A B A C A B B. Okay. Dethrone a king. What? I'm guessing that's an online thing. Yeah. 
That's cool. Anyway, going back to point. Um, in general, I'll probably do a tier list for the characters because that seems like a thing I do. Um, but right now, as things stand, I am. I've. I really wanted to know more about the story. The story is kind of like the main thing that drives me toward. Like, if there was, if I wanted a well-written story, this is where I kind of come to. Nether Realms does a really good job of that. Um, uh, having, I think that was probably the, uh, that's the other part is that we don't know anything about Havoc's background. That's an uh, another part to sort of cover with the game, and finally. Um, the Ashra order versus uh, Ashra kind of disappears halfway through the game, so uh, we don't get to we didn't get to see Ashra at the end. So there's a few there are a few characters they can cover story wise, but there has to be a reason why um, these characters need to come together specifically. Like Johnny Cage is going to be great to bring back all the time, right? As the sort of veteran in the other situation. Um, and effectively being a hothead. Uh, who, how would you bring in characters like Jax and um, without, like, you have to talk about the Black Dragon, right? And the Red Dragon, the, you know, Kano and so on and so forth, the Serbia Initiative. Who else is there that I'm missing here? Then the whole Goro, the Goro side of it. So there's the little factions in the outworld. And then the last one would probably be the Tarkatan, the Tarkatan, um, I guess that's probably the biggest next step, really, is that Melina's uh, disease gets revealed. So there are things they could do, story-wise, that they can flesh out the world a little bit more and how that affects the politics of it all. Um, but honestly speaking, we don't want to see an evil Molina again. We want to see a good Molina. Uh, the question just ends up being is how does Baraka's whole thing kind of help with the situation? And why is it that like Shang Tsung was able to help with it as well? So. <laughs> 